on this rainy Wednesday day. That is nastiness, but hey, um, it was actually pretty nice today. It was 70 degrees here in the greater Cincinnati area. Of course, it's going to be like 40 on Friday, but hey, if you don't like the weather around here, guess what? You wait a day and it will change. That's of course, it's going to be like 40 on whoa. Friday, but hey, if you don't like the whoa, weather around whoa, here, whoa, guess whoa. what? You wait a day and it will change. That's Shut up over there, Jason. And so with this, um, <laughs> We had some tef tef technical difficulties here, but we are getting ready to be spring. And so with this, I used to be on Thursday and Sunday and I wanted to change my Wednesday up. And so now every Wednesday, I'm going to be talking about marketing because marketing is the most important part of this business. And so if I can get some people on here, I'm going to be on the board today. So if you can read this the right way, let me know, or do I need to flip it? Because I know sometimes that it doesn't always work, and I can flip it, and so I'll have to figure out how to do it again. But I want to make sure that you all can read this, so when I start working on the board here, you will be able to understand what I'm talking about. I'm good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good. Because I know the last time I did whiteboard, and I know a lot of you like the whiteboard, and it was backwards and I was talking for five minutes and you're like, hey, shut up. We can't read it. So with that, let's let's talk about today. So today I went and took Christmas lights down. My my oldest daughter and I, we went um, to the church that I put up the uh, Christmas lights and we took them down. And so it was a fun time of pulling them all down and watching them go um, popping off there. And I did get a little bit of video of it. And so you know, it is a lot of fun to see Christmas lights and it is over and it's a little sad, but now it's time to go to the permanent lighting, right? In which we have the permanent lighting. I haven't put it up yet, but I started doing some videos. So that way I'm going to be having videos for permanent lighting also. So tonight I want to hit on, um, I'm going to hit on a couple things. First off, I want to hit on how we can hit to a hundred thousand. $250,000, $500,000. I'm going to hit on those three things because I know everybody's not in their journey. And if you're going to do, if you're only, if your goal for 2023 is 50,000, then all you got to do is cut this one in half, right? And you can kind of get the gist of where we're going and what we need to do to be able to grow our pressure washing, Christmas light service, business, whatever you're in these tactics work across the board there's not like oh this is only for pressure washing um the tactics i'm going to teach today are going to work across the board and so this is what i will hit on but before we get going here um we got some people in here i want to say um what's up pink robin from tampa we got performance power wash um Jeremy puts, as a girl dad yourself, please distract me um, from clothes shopping. <laughs> yep, I got two of them. Um, you just go and usually the wife takes care of that for me. So I'm, yeah, go book some more jobs so you can just send the wife or whatever and have at it. And uh, what's up from North Richmond Hills, Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth. Nick, Nick is from there. Um, up in Michigan, you know, you're getting some of this cold weather and crap. Um, like we're getting here. So um, TLC in Cincinnati, Mr. Michael from Indiana, Servant Soft Wash. What's up, Mr. Sean, all the way up in Canada, Canada, C-A-N-A. -A. Um, you know this is Christmas lights, right? I know it's on Christmas lights. I put it on Christmas lights and my pressure washing channel. And the reason why I did that is, is because we can use these same tactics that I'm going to use today, whether we're talking about Christmas lights or I'm talking about pressure washing or whatever you want to grow a business. It's not just about pressure washing um, for marketing. And so a lot of these tactics for pressure washing go for uh, marketing for Christmas lights also. So yes, I do know that it is on the Christmas light channel. And that is, I did that on purpose. I didn't do it by accident. So before we can start marketing, before we can start figuring out what do, how do I need to get First off, we need to come up with a number, right? And we're going to work backwards from that number. 
And so when we do this, this is the reason why I put the 100,000 up here because I know this is a lot of people's goal. And so this is something that a lot of people are shooting for is this $100,000 a year. And this is a good start. And I'm going to show 250 and I'll show 500. And so this is a good, good start. And so, you know, I want to show you can be able to understand when I start talking about the tactics of how we actually get to this number. Before we can get to the tactics of how we got to get to this number, first thing is, is we need to kind of start breaking down how do we get there. So we're going to take some averages and um, our goal, right, is so that we can have a, um, our goal is that how much is our average job? And if you've done work last year, you know what your average job was. Now, your average job might be low and we need to get it up, which I'll hit on that. But let's just say our average job is $750, right? I'm gonna use this number, but let's just say our average ticket is between 1,000 or 600 and 1,000. Now, for Christmas lights, this I'm hoping you're at a thousand to two thousand dollars with your average taking about two grand, right? So now we don't need as many jobs to be able to get to where we want to get here. So if we understand that we need seven seven hundred and fifty dollars is our average ticket again we're going to offer packages when someone calls us we're not just going to be like yo um here's your house wash for three hundred dollars no we're going to be like here's your house wash for three hundred dollars here's your exterior window cleaning for another three hundred dollars and here is your driveway cleaning for another three hundred dollars so we took that three hundred dollars and now we're getting it up into our average that we want to be at, right? We want to raise our prices. I know I'm always, yeah, and I know I got chicken scratch, and hopefully you can read chicken scratch. Um, otherwise, I don't know what to tell you um, <laughs> because I definitely have chicken scratch. And so, but someone liked this, and so they said bring back more whiteboard days, and so we're bringing back whiteboard days. And so this is something that we have to think about is what is our average ticket? So if our average ticket is $753, that means it's going to take us 133 jobs to be able to get to $100,000. Now, you know, that's not that many jobs because if, if, if you're in Florida and you're in the South, you get more days to work. But I'm up here in the north, and anybody from Cincinnati, even a little bit less south of me in north, can't work in the wintertime, or it's really hard to work in the wintertime. So I'm going to divide this by eight months, right? So when we start doing this, we can start seeing that, hey, I need 16 jobs a month. 16 jobs a month. Now, that's not too bad, right? There's 20 days in a work month, and that's not even one job a day, right? And so this is what we will be able to do that. And if we do that, that's going to give us a $12,500 month, right? $12,500 month. Does this make sense here? So we need to do 100000 we got to do $750 as our average ticket. We do 133 jobs, 16 jobs a month, and we're at 12500 Now, how do we get to that point? How do we get to that 16 jobs? Well, let's just say that your close rate is 50%. So you might be higher, you might be lower, but let's just say the average close rate is 50%. So 50% um, close rate. Close. All right, 50% close rate. So that means we need 32 leads, 32 leads, 32 leads to be able to get to $100,000. See, when we break down math, it's not hard, right? It's not hard what we got to do. So then you might say, okay, Jason, that makes sense. So what the next thing is, is 
I want you to spend 10% in marketing, right? Let's just say 10% in marketing. I'm always big on 10%. And so that's going to give us, because we got a, we're got to do this within um, ten, eight months. So that's going to give me $1,250 to be able to get to my, my, my $100,000. Does that make sense to anybody or am I just blowing hot air right now? Finally on my first live, thanks for the notification setting. Uh, watch pretty much all your videos on your channel. Thank you, Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. <laughs> um, but so this is where we, we are, right? This is where we want to be at. Kill the autofocus. I don't know if I can do that. Is it jumping in and out on you? Let me see if I can figure out how to do that. Um, Mask edge, transparent. I know there is an autofocus on here. I just got to figure out how to do it. Uh, rotate. Well, I don't see it on here. They've changed all my crap on me. <laughs> uh, they don't see it on there. Sorry about that. I know I see it's jumping in and out. Um, it makes sense and seems easier um, way, uh, way you say it instead of just make a hundred thousand dollars, right? Because when we think of it this way, right? I didn't even break it down to the next level. If we take the, um, if we take that twelve thousand five hundred dollars, right? We take the twelve thousand, twelve thousand five hundred dollars and divide that by four. Now we're at. We only need three thousand per week. We need $3,100 per week, $3,125 per week, per week. And if we break that down by, uh, divide that by um, five, we need $625 a day. $625 a day. Now, that's not so bad, right? This is doable. This isn't something that a lot of times people think, oh my God, I can't do that stuff. That is just way too hard. Now, I understand that I've got to figure out this because it's driving me nuts. Um, picture setting, temperature, saturation. I know there's a um, uh, blur effect. Uh, use minimum, oh, manual focus. There we go. Use manual focus. All right. Let's see if that keeps that from jumping on us. So this is definitely something that you can do and not overwhelm yourself, right? Well, a lot of times we start overwhelming ourselves because we're like, man, those are big numbers, Jason. That's hard, right? But you can do hard things. And that's the beautiful thing. So now let's go here and know exactly know your cost per day and know your numbers. This is probably the biggest thing you can do when we're trying to grow and scale a business because a lot of people don't understand their cost that they might do they they'll do this right here they'll do 625 dollars a day and they will do it but in the end they're not even making money and so this is an important part to not only know what our cost is but know our numbers right these are our numbers because a lot of times we look at this big number up here this this two hundred fifty thousand dollars we look at this number and we're like yeah that's what i want but we end up spending two hundred and 49,000 in cost and we really didn't make any money at all and that's not where I want you to be at right I don't want you to be in that spot I want you to you know my bottom line is what I'm what, what we really look at right it don't matter what this top number is if our bottom number sucks if our bottom number is down here at three percent it don't matter how much we make up here, you know, because at that point, we're just losing money. We're just blowing money, spending money, and it's not even coming back to us. And so our bottom line is really what is the most important part of doing this. And you might say, Jason, what does this have to do with anything with marketing? This has everything to do with marketing, because if we don't understand this, how, where am I going to, what am I shooting for? How many leads do I need to get this month? How many leads do I need to get next month? I didn't get many leads this month, so now I got to make up next month, right? So where are my leads at? Why did I quit getting jobs? 
because we're not planning. We're not budgeting. We're not planning. We're not looking at the next month. We're looking at today, right? We're looking at what can I get today? And that's not always the best way of looking at this. What What's the best way to look at this is, is with the numbers game. And I hate numbers just as many, much as anybody else. But in business, numbers is where it is at. And so this is important that we do this right here. So the next one is how do we get to 250,000? So I'm gonna do easy math because Jason likes easy math. We're gonna say your average ticket is $1,000. $1,000, average ticket, average, right? A thousand bucks is our average ticket. So that means we need 250 jobs, 250 jobs. That's a lot of freaking jobs, right? Who thinks that's a lot of jobs? That is a lot of jobs. Um, so for eight months, again, I know sometimes we can work nine, sometimes we can't. So for eight months, that's $31,000 a month is what we need to make. We need to be at $31,250 per month. Now that's a lot, right? That's a lot. Um, this is, can this be done with one crew? Yes, it can be done with one crew. It can be done with you on the truck still. It's a little bit tougher, but it can be done. I'm not going to say it can't be done because I've seen it done over and over and over. And so this is, this is a little bit tougher to be able to do this, but this is what you have to do. Now, our budget for marketing is $2,500 or $25,000 for the year, right? $25,000. For marketing here's the thing about this guys this is why it's important because if we don't know what our what we're going to spend in marketing how are we going to hit this number we're never going to hit this number if we don't know that hey i've got to spend twenty five thousand dollars to be able to hit this it's going to be real hard to be able to hit this number Maybe we want to do $500,000. We just add another zero and take the two off. Now we're going to be at $50,000 in marketing. Now, I'm not saying you got to spend $50,000 in marketing because some of the things that I'm going to start showing and start doing doesn't cost you a whole lot. And a lot of people aren't doing these things. Now, some people are, but a lot of people aren't doing the things that we need to do so we can hit this $25,000 in marketing. And here's the thing. That's a lot of money. But here's the other thing. Think about Christmas lights. In Christmas lights, $25,000 to be able to get $250,000, you know, that's going to be where you're going to be at because that's where it is. And people don't understand that all the time. Now, we're not going to spend this all in November, but we're going to start it in July, right? We're going to start running ads in July for Facebook so we can start filling our pipeline because at this point, we need 500 leads. And if I'm doing um, a half a million, I need a thousand leads. So how do I get my leads? That's where I'm. That's what. That's where I'm headed next. I'm headed there. I don't know if you all are like jumping at the bit or whatnot, but I'm headed to how do we get the leads, right? Um, how do we get there? That that's that's where we got to start thinking about. How do we get this thousand leads? Because a lot of times we think this number and we think this number and we think, you know, we got to get this many leads, but we got to get a thousand leads before the end of, for a year. And this is if your close rate is at 50%. If your close rate is less than that, then we got to get more leads. So, you know, there's two trains of thoughts here and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you my two trains of thoughts here. Cause I know I got different people in this, in this game here. And here's the two trains of thoughts. You can do in-person quoting or you can do online quoting. If you don't like to do in-person quoting, you're probably going to need to get more leads. If you do in-person quoting and you're good at it and you got a high close rate, for instance, like Mr. Um, Mr. Um, um, Chris Johnson, right? He's at a 60, 70% close rate with an average ticket of $1,600.
So he don't need this many leads to be able to get to five hundred thousand dollars. He only needs maybe he only needs um, a, a three quarters of this right here, right? He only needs seven hundred fifty thousand leads to be able to get to this, or seven hundred fifty seven hundred fifty leads. So this is important when we're dealing with this. All right. So how do we get our leads? Paul Gardner said yard signs and wraps. And I agree with that. I have actually got my notes here because I want to make sure I'm on here. So yard signs and wraps. Now yard signs is my number three. Yard signs. How many yard signs? You know, actually, let, I see that I, what I did there. So yard signs. is number three. That's my number third one. So these are kind of going off of numbers that I know that have hit to 700, 500 to $700,000. And these are the numbers that usually get the, the, the top one. This is usually number three right here. This isn't like their top one, but this is also something that they're not just putting out 50 yard signs a month when they feel like it, right? This is, we're putting out 200, uh, 400 a month, right? Because we got to get a thousand leads. So we can't just be like, well, I don't want to put out yard signs. Or here's the other one that I hear a lot is, is they keep taking up my yard signs. They keep picking up my yard signs. We'll keep putting them out. That's what I tell people. That's why I don't buy $10 yard signs. I buy $3 yard signs because when they put it, they, when they pick them up, I'm going to go right back and put it back out there. Um, you know, I'm going to put it at, if, if they're a really good city and they're like, pick it up Monday through Friday, I'm going to go out early Saturday morning. Yes, I'm going to go out early Saturday morning. So then that way we can make sure that we are getting this stuff out and we are able to do this. Now, I see somebody here. Um, I'm going to just hit on this guy um, because, you you know, this don't matter how old you are, or it doesn't matter how young you are. Somebody on here put he's 17 years old, right? And so this is valuable content. Um, thanks. Any advice for a 17 year old that isn't going to go to college? Yeah, absolutely. This right here, you, 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 um, you literally can do this to do a hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. There's nothing special about this stuff. You know, I can show you a lot of people in here that never went to college. This kid right here didn't go to college, right? And he's young too. He's just a he's less than five years older than you. You know, he's in his early twenties, and he's going to do a half of his goal is to do five hundred thousand this year, not just you know. And so. It's not whether you're old or young. It's a matter of, are you going to be consistent? You, I can sit here and tell you everything. And if you don't take action and be consistent, it doesn't matter what I tell you. You got to be consistent. You got to be relentless and you got to be prolific. You got to do it no matter what. You got to do it when it's cold outside. You got to do it when it's raining outside. You've got to take action. And even if it's just baby steps, baby steps get you way more action than not doing nothing at all. So I know a guy that bought a thousand yard signs last year. A thousand yard signs he bought. I know a guy. And there's 800 of them still sitting in a garage right now. Did that thousand yard signs, they look pretty in that garage, all boxed up, nice and boxed, right? No, it didn't make no money on him because he didn't put them out. And that person knows who I'm talking about, right? There might be more than that one person, but I know there's one person that he bought a thousand yard signs and put out about 200. And that's all he put out, right? And so this is something that we got to start doing and figuring out. And here's the thing. You got two ways of getting them out. You get your butt off the, off the ground and go do them. Or you pay somebody to go do it. Pay somebody $2 a sign. Hey, I'll give you $2 a sign. Go put these 100 signs out every week. There's 200 bucks goes out, but you'll make more money by doing it that way than trying to keep it going, right? And so um, Gino put, uh, I dropped out of high school and going to show everyone that I can make 100,000 or more. And I guarantee you, Gino, you can do it. It's not rocket science. You know the hardest thing about this business? There's one hard thing about this business is answering this freaking phone. 
because if you don't answer this phone, I don't care if you put out 10,000 yard signs. You're not going to make it. It's You will fail before we even get started. Because if we go and do a bunch of marketing and we don't answer this, it's you're just pissing in the wind. And that's what we're doing at the end of the day. You're pissing in the wind. So we got to answer this phone. This is your number one priority. The number one priority is, is get the phone to ring. The number two priority is to answer it. I didn't say go clean the house. I didn't say go clean the driveway. I didn't go say put up the Christmas lights. I didn't go say put up that $10,000 Christmas light. Your number one priority is getting the next job. We already got this job. Who cares about this job? We got to get the next job so that way we can keep growing. Otherwise, if we sit here and we're like, ah, I don't want to answer that phone. There, how much does this thing, when we do this, how much does this cost us, right? We can break those numbers down, right? So if it takes a thousand leads and it's 500, let's see, it takes um, $50 per lead. No, that's not what I want right there. I don't know. I'd have to do the math. But right, that is where we are losing money because we're not answering the phone call. So now we need 2,000 leads to get the same amount of money. All right, so that's number one. So here's a really good one that I'm going to push a lot this year, and I think a lot of other people are pushing this one too, um, is referrals, right? Referrals. And I didn't do this very good when I had my business referrals. Because this is a way that you will find that you'll get less jobs maybe, but there'll be higher ticket. And so if we can get a referral, right, give a referral, that is huge. Um, do a program, do something, but we want to do referrals, right? Because referrals is definitely something that will help us get in there. Now, this next one here is, is kind of tricky, but it's repeat. Now, If this is your first year, you're not going to get a lot of repeat business. You'll get some, but you're not going to get a lot of repeat business. Even if it's your second year, you don't get a lot of repeat business in the pressure washing world. Now, if you're in Florida, in the South where it grows a lot faster, you might start getting some more repeats in your first and second year. Usually this starts taking off in your third year. And a lot of it just has to do with, you know, just sheer volume of asking for those repeats in that then the next one is s is google right seo google i wouldn't even say seo but google google ads facebook ads this is where we're going to start getting some more leads now when we get these, but Google isn't so bad because that is someone actually searching for it. Um, Facebook ads, we're going to get a lot more leads that are tire kickers. That's just the nature of the beats. I'm running some Facebook ads right now for my pressure washing class, and I'm getting all kinds of tire kickers, right? I've had like 20 leads, and I haven't had one person sign up. And, you know, it's a numbers game at the end of the day, but at it is what it is. And so, you know, it is a numbers game with Facebook. You're going to get a lot more leads, but a lot of them are going to be dead leads. Um, not to say that we can't do it, but you can do this. And this here is, I love it, right? How do we get less? How do we get less than if we need less? Raise your prices, right? This was on $1,000. What if we get our average ticket up to $1,200, right? Someone do the math for me here. Let's see. Um, $500,000. $500,000 divided by $1,250. Now we only need 400, right? So we need 100 less. By raising our average ticket up, $250, we need 100 less jobs. So now we only need 400, and so now we need 800 leads. Does that make sense? right? Because we've raised, we just raised our average ticket just $250. So we went from $1,000 to $1,250. Now we only need 400 jobs. We need 100 less jobs. That's 100 less driving, 100 less gas, 100 less problems, 100 lot of things just by raising our price $250. And $1,250 
for an average ticket is not unheard. Is it a little bit hard to do? I'm sure, yes, it is. I would lie and say this is easy to get. But you know how you get $1,250 um, thing? You quote everything. You get, you, you're you quoting two and $3,000 tickets and you'll end up with a $1,250 average ticket. And so this is something that we have to think about when we do this here. So this is what we need to do. Um, and then next here is um, five. I'm going to put social media and LinkedIn. I'm going to tie that in together, right? LinkedIn. Social media and LinkedIn, right? This is all free stuff. This is free. LinkedIn, Facebook, all of that is free. You're, even if you pay for Sales Navigator and LinkedIn, this is how we get our commercial work. This is how we get our $20,000 jobs. This is how we get our 60, 80, $100,000 jobs is through LinkedIn. And then last is email marketing. Email, right? Email marketing is huge, right? Email marketing, LinkedIn, these two work together. But in the end, I talk about Benjamin Gregory a lot, right? Benjamin Gregory has done probably $2 million in the last three years off of LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is definitely something that you have to do. LinkedIn is one of those things that if you're not doing LinkedIn for commercial work, now, if you're just starting out, don't do LinkedIn. LinkedIn is not the fast, get it done quick game. This is the long game. Benjamin did LinkedIn for a year or two before they start pouring in. Jason Hefner's done LinkedIn for a year or two, and now it's starting to pour in. LinkedIn is good, but it does take work to be able to do LinkedIn. LinkedIn does work, but it takes time. We got to build that relationship. We got to build that network. And then back up here, these two here, we're going to email these two, email and text, right? Because we're going to ask our repeats for referrals, right? We're going to ask our repeats in a text for a referral. We're going to ask our repeats for a referral on here. We're asking for referrals. We're asking for referrals. You know, I've always just taught ask for five-star reviews, but now we're asking for five-star reviews and referrals. Referrals are huge. Referrals are definitely something that you need to make sure that you're doing. Because if you're not doing referrals, then it's going to be hard to grow your business. I hope that makes sense for everybody. Does that make, did, that, did anybody make sense out of that at all or am i just blowing hot air I, I i think that i wanted to show it on the whiteboard so that way we can actually kind of see my chicken scratch and that i think you can kind of relate to it a little bit better and i'm sure i'll get hate mail and if you want to give me hate mail fine for it go for it um i, don't, I got tough skin um not all not all commercial Property is net pay. No. And some of it, you know, that's that's the thing with commercial, right? Commercial, it could be 60, 90 days before you get paid. It can be hard. If you don't have, if you don't have a good, you know, nut egg that, you know, enough that you can work that, that, that commercial, commercial can put you in a hurt and real bad. And if you're going to do commercial, it's good to get a line of credit sometimes. So that way, when we're waiting for that, I mean, we've had, we were owed seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 in AR. And so, you know, that's hard to be getting, you know, you got to still pay your guys, you got to still pay your bills and you're owed 80, 70, $80,000. It's not easy to be able to make that. Totally made sense. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna go up here. Let's um, see some questions here from you guys. Uh, thanks for the video. Finally catching a live. And if you want to catch more lives, you can go to um, sign up text, which is text 859-696-1101. Text the word king. And then I put a, a text out every time I go live. So um, it goes live every Sunday and every Wednesday night. And so you'll get a text, hey, we're going live. And that way you'll know. I usually send it at like 859 right before I go live. Where are all the regulars at? I think they're in here. They were up to 92. Give me some. Uh, finally, on my first slide, thanks for the notification. I went plenty of videos of your channel. Uh, makes sense. Easier to way to say it. You know, and that's the reason why we want to break numbers down, right? Because when we break it down per job, $650 a day, you know, if you do two jobs at 300 bucks, 
that's where you're at, right? Or you could do one job and be done with it. It's not rocket science. You know, the biggest thing is, is don't, you're not your customer. And, you know, this is something that I see a lot of people make this mistake. And this is the mistake they make. They have these amazing before and after pictures on this trailer. That's not your customer. Your customer don't have nasty green on the, most of the houses. When I go see, when I go with ride with people and we're doing the thousand dollar jobs, they're not even dirty. They're not even dirty. Those are our customers. How do we find more of those customers? We get more of those customers by putting those pictures on our website, by posting those on our Facebook, by posting them in our ads, right? That's what we're doing. We're not getting the dirty, nasty houses. Very rarely is a big house dirty and nasty. You know, most of the time, the houses that we're getting are, they are, you know, they, they are, um, they're clean. They have nice landscaping. They pay to get their grass mowed, right? All of these things are what we are looking for in our customer. Especially here in Detroit, season won't start until the 1st of April. Yep. Well, and that's if old man winter don't come in April because it's nice now. Uh, know your cost. Please, could you explain a little bit about how to mix products to wash driveway or house? Um, yeah, you put SH in there and you go to it. So um, house wash mix is you want it to be 1% to 1.5%. And then I usually just do that for the driveway and then use a surface cleaner on it. Um, yard signs and wraps. And I didn't even get on wraps. Um, knowing your numbers allow you to decide which month to max out your marketing and which months to stay level. And here's the thing. If you don't know this and some of you are just starting out, this is you might not know when the slow season is. So usually March is kind of iffy. April, May, and June. April and May are usually really good. June starts to taper down. July and August tapers down. And, and in September, it starts to come back up. September, if you can work in October, it rank, ramps back up. Um, usually, that's when we ramp up for Christmas lights, and it really ramps up. How like customers did you have, Jason, before you sold? I think the last year, we had like 250 is where we were at. That's the question to close or in person or not to. That's a good question. Depends. My service area, I'm an hour, right? From here, we went all the way up to Dayton. We're an hour away, hour and hour and a half. I can't, I cannot go to every sales call at that point. So I went after how to get more leads. Five arounds is another way of getting it, right? And you know, that's one of the things too. It's one of those things we do all of them. We don't, to be able to hit these numbers, we're not just hitting one of these. You know, now I'm not, we might not be doing both Google ads and Facebook ads, but I'm doing one of them, right? I may not, I'd be doing signs. I'm going to be working on my repeats. I'm going to be working on my social media, right? I'm doing all of this stuff. For me to be able to hit the half a million dollars, the $500,000 to hit that thousand leads, I'm doing everything. This is, you know, a lot of times I'll say pick one and get good at it. We're beyond that. To be able to hit a half a million, we got to find, we got to hit everything we can do. We're doing five arounds. We might be doing clip flyers. We're doing networking. We are doing everything we can to get that phone to ring because we need a thousand leads. And if you want to do a million, then we need 2,000 leads, right? Um, leads is what I need help in hundred a week door hangers and testing different tile door hangers. They can work. Um, put them out. We're doing a $50 gift card for our five around instead of $50 off coupon, hoping the customer sees the value and more than the coupon, you know, in I'm, I'm this $50 this is only $25 that if someone gets me a job, if my average ticket is $750, $1,000, i will give them a $50 gift card. I'll, I'll feed them out to wherever they want to go dinner for $50. bucks. It ain't going to get them much, but I'm willing to do that. Truck is getting wrapped tomorrow. Awesome. Um, per job, per day. Persistence, that is the key. Persistent, persistent, persistent. Um, cold and wet 
the competitors are out. I think that's when you strike. Uh, salary that 200,000 work for the man. This year's goal is to double that income and get out of the nine to five. And here's what I'm going to say to that. Because you're not the only one in this boat. I know somebody else is in this boat. Don't go charging cheap prices. I always tell people I can make people more money that have made money than the people that are ch that have never made money. The person that's only made forty, fifty thousand dollars is a lot harder for me to be able to tell them to raise their prices than you at a two hundred thousand dollar salary. And so, with that said, right, you've got to be premium pricing you've got to do premium pricing you can't be cheap because if you're cheap you will be burned out and you will never get to that so i had my the people that i know down in south or uh, charlotte um they started out cheap and he was he he's in that 150 200 000 um on his job range and so they went to premium pricing they work about six to eight hours a week and they brought in a hundred thousand in less than like eight months um, so it is definitely possible to do that um, without killing yourself. This is exactly where I am in my business. I can't keep up with the calls. So let's talk about that, right? Because <laughs> that's the, the what I, I heard the thing today is, is I can get you all the leads you want, and then that creates another problem, right? There's always going to be another problem created. No matter if I if you can't get the leads, that's a problem. If I get you the leads, now that's a problem because now you got to be able to get them out, you got to get them quoted, you got to get all of that stuff done and being able to hammer down on all of that there. So, I'm so what I've been working on here lately and I've been killing myself. I actually I haven't been killing myself, but um, is automation, right? How can we automate things when we miss a phone call that it will not hurt us? If we um, get a form that it don't sit there till late at night or two, three days later that we're getting back to that form. And so I finally came up with the product. It's not, it is up for sale right now. Um, you can go to King of Marketing. dot i o and it is up and you all are the first one to know that it is up and so this is where um you if you don't have a website it will um it will come with a website if you do have a website we'll put the smart forms on your website so then that way um we'll be able to set up a lot of this automation stuff and we will be able to start hitting your data list and we can start getting customers through that uh, for, for our referrals and our repeats and all of that awesome stuff um if you can't answer the phone, get someone that can. Pay Jill's office. Pay a mom at school. Pay somebody that can do it. Um, that's exactly what you have to do. Um, signs are above Google Ads. If you're putting out, yes. Um, a lot of times, Google Ads, you never know where you might get it and where you might not. You don't know what your competition is, which you don't know what your competition is for yard signs. But a lot of times, your yard signs are going to peter out before Google Ads. Um, is there software that consolidates all my lead flow into one place? Yes, there is. Kingofmarketing.io. So, like, I've got everything on one dashboard. It doesn't do LinkedIn, but all my emails, all my texts, any conversations that's coming comes into one place. So, I've where I've been texting my number, I get a lot of it. Or people message me all the time on Facebook. I can go in here, and then I can send it right back out to people. And I'm not going to Facebook and all these other places trying to keep up um, with it. So, that's how I've been doing it. Spent $66 on Facebook and got three people booked for an average ticket of $1,700. can not beat it. And, you know, that is definitely something that I've heard that people have had better luck this year with Facebook. And I don't know why, but they have. So that is interesting. Love your show, Jason. When was the last time you washed a house? Um, back in the fall, I washed three houses when it was pouring down rain with DJ. DJ had to have his... Um, gallbladder taken out and he had like a whole bunch on the books 
and I went out for the day and we got like four jobs, three or four jobs done um, to get it done. This year, I'm going to do more. Um, I'm going to go out on the truck more because I want more video. Um, and if, I'm going to go, if anybody wants me to come and do something with you and you're not too far away, you know, let me know. I would, I'm more than happy to do a ride along. I did a ride along with this guy. He, uh, my brother speaks the truth. His advice made me an extra 35,000 because I was charging too little. I just got connected with a community group off of LinkedIn that manages 150 neighborhood. It works. Hey dude, I wouldn't tell you off. It didn't work. I wouldn't be here pushing. I don't push nothing that I wouldn't buy myself. I am not one of snake oil. I will tell you the truth. I know there's a lot of snake oil. I've seen it. And the snake oil is really coming out hot here lately. Um, I mean, it's really coming out hot. They're like, ah, spring is coming. We're going to, we're going to, and I don't, I'm not that type of person. If you're, I'm not going to lie to you. Everything that I posted up here, I did. The, the only thing I didn't do that I said I didn't do is referrals and repeats. I did I, I did work on repeats through response a bit, but I didn't work on repeats like I should have been working on them. I should have been texting them. I should have been calling them. I should have been doing more with my repeats, and I didn't. And so I got all my business to get me to a million dollars was all through Google Ads, email marketing, and LinkedIn. Those were my big ones to get me to where the million dollar was. And so, you know, this here, it's a, it's a software. I'm selling, it's a software is basically what it is. And so it works. It's amazing. It does really well. It does awesome with follow-up. It keeps everything in one spot and it just works awesome. Remember, commercial work is net 15. Yeah, that sucks. 100%. Um, totally makes sense. Where do you rank in person quotes? What's the average close rate? Where do you rank in person quotes? So, actually, I know people that do better with it. And I know people that do the same. So Bobby Walker, if you've ever heard of Bobby Walker, um, he does in-person quotes. And there's a guy that literally lives in the next county. So he's in Orlando. He's in Lakeland. And he does all online. And their close rate and average ticket is almost the same. It's like real close to the same. And so at that point, right, what do you rather do, in-person or there? You know, in-person... Um, you should get a higher close rate because you're building that relationship. Um, but some of it, some people don't want you to be around, right? Some people, you know, a lot of people don't do this. And this is another thing that I'm going to start putting on people's websites is not just the call button, but add a text button. Some people don't want to talk to you. They're busy. They don't, they can't talk to you but they'll text. And so a lot of people don't even put this on their website. They don't even put the text button. And so these are things that we can do to be able to communicate with how they want to communicate. Did you know, this was an interesting stat. It's over 70% would rather text than talk to you on the phone call. 70%. That's that new generation coming out. 70% would rather text than talk to you on the phone call. And I know, but Jason, I can't close as good with text. Well, but Billy Bob, figure out how to close with text. Go on chat GPT and say, what do I say when this person says that? And it's going to give you a response. That is probably an amazing response. That will probably close more jobs. And so use tools that you are given right now, right? Chat GPT, there's all kinds of AI stuff coming out right now. There's no excuses out there of why you can't get something done. Chat GPT, you can get, if you aren't writing two, three posts a day, you are just, you're just because you're lazy because you're not going on chat GPT and getting your post. And it's, you, you can have some pretty awesome posts out there. Crystal clear gold. Explain the referral process. So I have there is a process that I'm going to try to come up that I'm pretty sure uh, when I learn there, I can do this. 
So if you have one of my websites, my I'm not going to do it on my free website. If you got my free website, that's not going to be a, it's going to be the next tier, the next two tiers up. Um, I will be able to do a referral link on your website that you can give each person that can sign up to that link. And then every time they put that link out, you give them 50 bucks, right? And it will track that, hey, it came in, we did the job, everything. So that's something that you can think about doing to be able to send out referral links to your people so that way they will be able to follow you and do it. Another way you can do it is, is put their name on here, right? Put your name on there. So when, who, who referred you? And that's another question you can ask. Who referred you? And as long as they're in the system, that's all you need to know. Nuts and eggs are good combo. They make babies. They do. Um, hit the thumbs up, folks. Lots of good information tonight. Before and after videos are the best for advertising than pictures in my area. You want to know what's even better than that? Pictures of you in your equipment and pictures of you in front of houses and pictures of you because people do people, people do business with people, not people do people with pictures. So the best pictures is pictures with you in them. And I know you, some of you, and not in some old bleached, ragged out clothes, falling off of you, half naked, church ripped. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you dressed nicely in a polo and nice pants and or shorts. That gets a lot because that goes way further than a nice before and after. In fact, the nice before and after, I'd rather have a nice big house than a before and after. And that's just because that's what I'm doing, right? Or my truck in front of that big house. Click with my sign in the yard. Click, right? Because now we can start branding it, start doing things that we can do. Just starting looking for it. Jason, how do I land accounts like Chick-fil-A and Starbucks? Knocking, go go flip rocks. Hey, Mr. Jones, here's, uh, here's our services we can do. Did you know we can clean this here? I can do a demo for you if you want me to do a demo to show you how clean we can get this. That's how we get it. If you got friends, family that work in the restaurant industry, that's a good way to get in foot and front door. Networking is going to pay off this year. Actually, it already has. Do you think 12 by 18 yard signs are too small? Yep. Uh, I like the 18 by 24. Um, subscription sales, your house wash is $600 a day, but if I'll do your windows and gutters and concrete this year and just pay a hundred dollars a day works a lot. You know, I'm thinking about pushing this more too, um, of always having your house clean. Never worry about your dirty, never worry about a dirty house again, right? Cause we're going to make it easy for them. Hey, we'll clean it this time. And this is the cost. Um, and then moving forward, you give us $50, $100 a month. We'll come out and clean it every year. We'll clean the driveway every year. We'll clean the gutters every year. We'll clean the gutter. We'll come out and do the gutters two, three times. And we're going to book that second time in July and August when we know we're slow. And we're going to try to book the other one in the beginning. And that way you always have a clean house, right? That's a way that we can do this so that way you always have a clean house. You never have to worry about a dirty house. And you get a bunch of people on that, you're going to be good. For newbies, do you suggest a huge discount to get? No, I do not. No, I do not give discounts. Don't. Why would I want to give a huge discount to get a return customer? That's the dumbest thing I could do. And I'm not being mean, Arthur. I'm just saying that's not very smart when we're dealing with this, right? We've got to keep our prices high and be premium pricing. We cannot be lowering it and giving them a big discount. Now, I may give them a discount if they sign up and they're going to come back and do my monthly plan. Yeah, I'll give a discount. I'll probably give 20 to 25% off if they're going to do that monthly for me. Because, you know, that first, if they're doing the house, their windows, their gutters, the driveway, that's going to be another $1,000 hundred dollars a month for me over the next year. Yeah, I'll give them a discount. Don't cut that flow of income out, Trey. Not until more business is on the way. Good food ain't cheap and cheap food ain't good. True. <laughs> now there ain't no cheap food. Uh, do not limit yourself to your services. What's the best product for graffiti removal? Um, Taginator, um, World's Best. There's a bunch of them. Facebook automation is a good tool for that. Yep. 
You can set up automation, respond regularly, ask questions. I need more leads. Are you working with Salesforce for your business? No. No. That's too hard. <laughs> uh, I've got a better system than Salesforce. Jason hasn't steered me wrong yet. I don't plan on it. Jason, you have the anti-venom. I need fifteen hundred dollars, fifteen sixty-two bucks a day for washing, four thousand a day for lights. Uh, from there, another great session. What's the cost of King of Marketing pressure washing? Go check it out. Um, the the basic website is ninety-nine dollars. Um, I'll probably, if you're in the membership, you'll get a discount off that. I can't give it as of right now. Um, what I'll probably do is, is if you're in my membership, I'll give you the first month at 99 bucks. And then after that, I'll probably just, um, put it to free and to, as long as you're in the membership, if the next plan is, um, I think it's two ninety nine, and that's gets you a website that gets you the, all the automations, everything. And then, um, the next plan is, um, the next plan is, uh, a thousand bucks, but that's Google ad management. That's, um, all your citate over a hundred citations, 12 social media posts a month. Um, shoot, I, I had it up on the board and I erased it. Um, and a bunch and a couple other things. Um, that does not include ad spend. Um, I've figured out a way that I can do Facebook ads with that too. You'll probably get Facebook ads if you want to run your Facebook ads with that. Love it, Jason. Got me an idea when a customer leaves me a review. We take a picture of us in front of their clean house and post it with the review. Absolutely. I'm launching in April. Was thinking about hiring sales reps to max marketing strategies. You got to get, you got to be able to get those jobs closed. You got to be able to get leads for them too. Um, 30 card, $30 gift card to anywhere they want per referral is my only discount this year. Uh, painting out of Virginia. I'm looking for more business and making more money. I've been pressure washing since 1985. The biggest thing I'm going to hit on that is, is raise your prices. Don't be afraid to charge people. I know a lot of people that have been washing since a long time and this is their number one struggle i've got a guy that's down south of me he's actually in nathan's area and he struggles with this he's in nathan's area he nathan and them are in the same area and this dude struggles with it he struggles hard with it and it's it's one of those things that you've got to raise your prices you a lot of times people start worrying about competition and that's they got a whole book of names that referral that keeps coming in because you've been in it so long and everybody knows you but you got to raise your prices i hear so many people are like yeah this old guy he's been in the business forever but he's the cheapest guy around why why? Well, I ain't got to buy no leads. I ain't got... No, you don't, but you can still raise your prices. Just think about it this way. If you raise your prices, if your average ticket is $500, usually the guys that are there, their average ticket is less than $500. And the people that I teach, their average ticket is more than $500. And so just by raising $100 in there, it you do half the jobs, right? You can do half the jobs by just raising it a little bit. You don't even have to raise it a whole lot. Um, I do a thing that if you're at $300 average ticket and you raise your average ticket to $450, you do literally half the jobs to make the same exact amount of money. Now, who wants to do less jobs? Me, because I'm lazy and, and I don't want to do all those jobs. I want to grow and scale so I don't have to do all those jobs, right? So that is where you need to raise your prices and figure out how to raise your prices, how to get, not just give them a house wash. That's the other thing I see with a lot of old dogs. They don't want to give packages. They don't, they don't want to give the exterior window cleaning, the driveway cleaning, the, the roof cleaning, the free gutter clean out with the roof clean, right? They don't want to do all that extra stuff, but then they want to complain that their average ticket is so low. It's because they're not giving the things they need to do to get that ticket up. Um, if you haven't signed up for kpwtraining.com, the in-person training coming up this next weekend in Myrtle Beach, you might want to because this is probably going to be one of the best classes that I've put on in a long time. Um, I've been talking with Chris, and we got a lot of things up our sleeve, and I'm doing it because 
I want it to be amazing. So this, if you suck at sales, this is going to be the class you want to be at. Um, we're going to talk about um, at the door scripts. He, we may even get to do an in-person person real in person um we're we're going to try to do a real in person um in person quoting job um and so you'll be able to come and follow chris and see how he how he does it how he sells how he presents and that way you will be able to get that information um with that there so um see you in myrtle beach see john's going to be there um and so myrtle beach is definitely where it will be at um, right now we're at six and we, I'm going to cap it at 10. Um, especially where if we do this other stuff, I don't want it no more than 10 people. And I know a lot, and you might say, well, who's going to sign up this week. There's a lot of people that sign up the week. I've had people sign up the morning of my class and drive two hours to my class. So <laughs> you'd be surprised who will do it, um, with that. Um, and then if you want to learn more about King of Pressure Watch.com, here is where I do my, um, all my, all my training is in there, all my online training. Oh, and a lot of another question is, is if you get a certificate after this training, the in-person, yes, you do get a certificate of completion when it is done. Um, when is your next class after Myrtle Beach? Any, and yes, there will be and one in April. I believe it's going to be the first weekend. Um, you'll be able to go here tomorrow and i hopefully i'll have it updated um kpw train and hopefully i'll have it updated to to um all my other trainings because i also going to have one in indianapolis too um but yeah and then my monday night marketing is every monday night um this is where i teach all about marketing i know i teach a little bit about marketing here but i go way in depth and i don't just kind of over it um just because it is um what it is but um two hours that's nothing <laughs> exactly um, but i hope everybody has an amazing week thank you all for coming on to the live tonight i really do appreciate it um but the words of wisdom i'm going to give you tonight is take action don't just sit on it guys you got to take action you got to be consistent you got to be relentless and you got to be prolific you got to do it when it's hard you know, you got to be relentless every week. You got to go out there. I haven't even talked about a marketing plan yet, but we got to plan out what we're going to do in a month, the next three, six months. And then we got to do it. If we're going to say we're going to put out 400, if we're going to say we're going to put out 200 yard signs a month, we got to put out 200 yard signs a month. We cannot not put those out because then we're going to just hurt ourselves and we're not being consistent. We're not being, you know, relentless. We got to do it. And it's hard guys. Don't get me wrong. I, I love coming on to these lives and stuff. I do. I really do love it, but it's hard sometimes today. I wasn't feeling it. You know, I was like, man, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to talk about? And then I'm like, I'm going to talk about breaking things down, right? Because that's what it is. And then I just went all in and I ended up having 96 people in here, right? I'm, and my goal is to help you grow your business. My goal is right here. Look at this. A thousand people make a hundred thousand dollars a year. And I want to get people to a million. I don't want to just stop you here at a hundred thousand because that's self-limiting beliefs on your own. I want to get you here is step number one. Step number two is how do we get you to $250,000 a year? How do we get you to $500,000 a year? How do I get you to a thousand, a million dollars a year? And you can do it. There's nothing special about people that are doing a million dollars. There's nothing special about them. They put on the pants the same way you put them on. They, they have the same self doubt that you have and you can do it. And I, and I know you can do it and I have faith in that you can do it, but you have to take the first steps. You have to take action. You know, it's not always the easy way. There is no easy. Where's the big easy button? Does anybody got a big easy button? Where's the big easy button? Right? Easy. There is none of that. There is no easy button. It takes hard work. But you can do this. It's not rocket science, guys. I come on here to help you. That's my goal. And I appreciate you all coming on and listening to me. But I know what it takes to us to get to a million. I know what it takes us to get to 100,000. And I've helped a lot of people get to 100,000. I've helped people get to 250,000. I've helped people get to half a million. I've helped people get to a million. And I know what to do to get them there, right? And so 
This is now getting past that. That's not me. I'm not going to get you past a million. I got ideas and ways to do it, but that's not me. I can get you to here to a million. I can get you to half of a million. I can get you to a hundred thousand, but I can, I could probably figure out how to do the million or two million, three million, but that's not me. Cause I know very few people that are there. Very few. And it does take a lot of work to do that. And it's not always you doing the work. It's finding the right people so that you can do the right work. First time, thank you um, for all the info. And I will take action. I'm going to hold you to that, AJ. Um, how can I be one of those thousand people? Join King of Pressure. I hate saying that, but listen to me. You either listen to me and you do what I say here or join King of Pressure Wash come to an in-person class, that will speed up your process a lot faster. And I know it costs money and I know it can be hard, but I've literally helped people that have stayed in their car because they didn't have enough money to pay the hotel and they've literally done very well for them there that next year. But you have to take action and it's not gonna be easy. I, I promise you it is not going to be easy. It's gonna be hard, but you can do it. There's no reason why you can't do it. The only reason why you can't do it is because you don't believe in you. I believe in you if you believe in you. I don't believe in you if you don't believe in yourself because I can only help you so far, right? I can only push you so much. I can only guide you so much. You got to take action and that is what changes everything right? That's what gets us to the next level. So if you just joined a couple days ago, make sure you're on Monday night calls. Make sure you're asking questions on Monday night. Even if you think they're dumb questions, you ask those questions. And there is no dumb questions because I don't like when people say, well, this that's a dumb question. If someone said that, I will kick them out my personally. I don't care if they paid me whatever. I will kick them out because there is no dumb questions, right? None. No dumb questions. The only dumb question is a question you didn't ask, right? And so there is no dumb question. So one thing that you've got to do is, is on Monday night, show up, ask questions, get in the Facebook group, ask questions, do Facebook live, start building that feeling so you know how to start talking in front of people. In our class on Saturday, next, sun, next Saturday, guess what? People are going to be talking to each other. Because we're going to do phone scripts. We're going to do play, role play in this next class. Why? To get you out of your comfort zone. Because when we did it, the last time I did it, they are like shaking hands like this. And we had to teach how to shake hands, right? Shake a hand. Be a man. Shake a hand. Even if you're a woman, shake it, right? People know when you shake limp, limpy hand, you just gave that cell to somebody else right then and there. So that's where you got to make sure. What's your new automation service again? Kingofmarketing.io. I've got, it talks a lot about on the website there. March is coming. Get those money bushes out. I agree. I agree on that. I'm actually shocked nobody's gotten them out yet around our area yet. I told DJ too, and he's like, it's windy. I'm like, good excuse. Good excuse. You leave them in that garage longer. The longer you leave them in the garage, the better off they are. Um, did Christmas lights last year with zero experience, and I made 17000 in a month. All leased. Now looking in solar panel cleaning, buying equipment very soon. Awesome. Can I drive by in Myrtle Beach for that class in my tiny truck? Honk my horn. Come on. Come on. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all have a great night, and we'll see you on Sunday. See you later.